Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to start a beauty blog. So be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And this video or any other video on this channel helps you out. So basically what we're going to do today is I'm going to give you an example of what a beauty blog is. I'm going to show you how to pick a niche because beauty isn't really a niche. It's just an idea or a topic. And then why you should niche down in the beginning. I'm going to help you pick a platform and a domain name. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. Next, we are going to go through the process of installing WordPress. We're going to talk a little bit about what WordPress is. We're going to install a WordPress theme. Then we're going to make sure that we make these very important changes. If you don't make these changes on your account, you can run into trouble with getting traffic and potentially making money. After that, we're going to talk about writing and how to start writing and the best way to write so that you can actually make some money. And then we're going to talk about different ways to make money with your website or with your blog and why you should share it on social media. And then also make sure that you continue to write and how much you should write before you should start thinking about other avenues. And then again, make sure you click that first link in the description to get started. So let's go ahead and get right into it. What is a beauty blog? Let's look at an example here. A beauty blog is essentially a blog that talks about different beauty topics. Now, when we say beauty blog, it's a very high level, top level thing, and you need to know that you need to absolutely niche down. For example, think about all of the different avenues when, when you say beauty. It could be makeup, skin, hair, nails, all sorts of stuff. So when you're first getting started and you have a teeny tiny blog uh, like you will with zero blog posts, you need to find an avenue and niche down. For example, pick something that you're interested in maybe makeup or skin or, or hair. And to better illustrate this point, I'm gonna log into a, a keyword research tool that helps me find different keywords. If I just type in beauty, you're gonna see it's insanely competitive. It, on a scale of zero to 100, 100 being very hard or impossible to rank for as a new blog or website, if we just type in beauty, it's 93. But if we type in makeup, you're gonna see it's still gonna be kind of competitive, but not as bad as, as 93. So we type in makeup and it's only a 65. So what you'd wanna do is simply find a niche or a subtopic within beauty and start creating that content. If we look at the matching terms, you're gonna see that there are some opportunities and some avenue to potentially make money. But as you can see here, it, that's why it's so important to niche down. And I have that as a separate thing here. Pick a niche and then niche down. And then what you should probably even do too is niche down even further. And to niche down even further, we can talk about different types of makeup, makeup brushes. You can see there's lots of opportunity, goth makeup, uh, if you wanted to, to simply create content. Cardi B, no makeup. If you wanted to, you could create an entire um, an entire blog about Cardi B or some of the other uh, popular celebrities that are out there and how they do their makeup, that's going to be very, very good in order to start making some money. But as you can see here, make sure that you niche down. If we look at these matching terms, you're going to see people are asking simple questions about Cardi B and her makeup and all of that stuff. So what I recommend in the very beginning, niche down create verticals or create uh, content in each of these subtopics and you'll grow much faster. I can tell you from experience that is the best way to go. So after we niche down, we need to pick a platform and a domain name. Let's quickly talk about what a platform and a domain name is. A platform or web hosting is simply where you're going to put your, your internet files. So um, what you're going to do is you are going to rent hard drive space from a web hosting company. That company is going to be Bluehost. The first link in the description will take you to Bluehost. When you sign up with the first link in the description, you'll actually get a free domain name. Now the domain name is this name that people are going to refer to you as or, or refer to your website as. So if you look here, this is the domain name, ipsyipsy.com. That's the domain name. You're going to get one for free when you click the first link in the description. So if we go back here, over here, you're going to click the link in the description, get the domain name, and actually I'm gonna walk you through the process right now of setting up your website with Bluehost. When you click that link, you'll be taken to this website where you'll go ahead and click Get Started. What I recommend is to click the first one on the far left, the basic plan if you're just getting started with a website. As you can see, there are a number of options, but click that, click Select, and then move on. Here you're going to create a domain name. If you have one in mind, you can type it in here like you see that I do. What I recommend is try and find a domain name that's going to be related to your niche. Now, what I do is I type in a domain name that I know is already taken. When it's taken, you're gonna get this error. What you can then do is go back and try different domains. 
Now make sure again, you wanna pick one that's related to your niche. Click next, and then you're gonna see a green box that says that it's approved. The next step is simply to go through and enter in your contact information. Make sure that you, when you scroll down here, make sure that you leave all of the settings on. Um, but again, enter in your contact information, the settings right here where it says domain privacy, leave all of this checked. If you don't leave it checked, you're gonna get people reaching out to you, uh, spamming you, emailing you, trying to get you to sign up for web hosting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sign up and then jump back to you once I sign on and move to the next step. All right, so I have signed up and I'm going to go ahead and set up my website initially. Just create a simple username and password, make sure it meets the requirements there and then move on. Um, make sure that you write it down too. Write it down in a safe spot so that you have it and you remember it because it can be a pain to go ahead and get everything back. You're gonna have to enter in like some vital information, but just make sure that you write it down. It's really easy and really simple. Now, one thing that I do wanna note is that this part is not sped up at all. This is actual real time, and you can see that you'll go from absolutely nothing to a complete website in less than probably 10 minutes. And once you click submit, you're gonna move on to the next step where you get to log in. Here is where you're actually going to start creating your WordPress website. Now, the great thing is, is Bluehost really does everything for you and it's really simple. So again, I'm not speeding this up at all, and I want you to see what it really takes to create a website. Bluehost is gonna do a little bit of work in the background for you, and we're just gonna actually click on skip this step. This one, first one I clicked on start a blog, but for the next step, just click skip, because we know what we're doing, and I'm actually gonna tell you what to do so that we can get up and running. Click get started right here on the left-hand side, and then move on. Just click skip here, and click skip here. And then just pick the first one in the far left. Make sure that you're picking a free theme because they'll charge you. They have both free and premium themes, which I'll talk about in just a moment. So right now it's actually creating your WordPress website. In just a few moments, you're gonna click on log in to WordPress on the right hand side there. You'll see it in just a second. And then we can actually start looking at some basic configurations. All right, so we click log in and now we actually have a WordPress website. What may need to happen is you may need to click refresh a few times to get it to, to work, but now we have our website, as you can see. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna log in and delete a few plugins, because right now it has the coming soon, and so if someone tried to get to your website at this moment, it's gonna say coming soon to them, even though we can see it. This is what your WordPress website looks like, but for everyone else outside of your network, it's gonna say coming soon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to plugins eventually, and we're going to delete some of the plugins that we don't need. Now, I talk a little bit about plugins later on, but um, plugins add additional features and functionality. We are going to deactivate the Bluehost as well as the um, other plugins that are already activated, and then we can go through and make the necessary changes, which I'll cover in just a moment. So we're gonna deactivate them and then delete them. Now you wanna make sure that you only have the plugins that you're using on your website. The more plugins you have, the slower your website's going to respond and, and function, and you're gonna lose out on ranking. So make sure you have a lean setup, very few plugins, and then move on. As you can see right now, I'm just simply deleting some stuff that you don't need. Uh, if you want to, you could keep them, but obviously if, if you're just getting started, you don't need this other stuff. What's more important is the themes that we're gonna talk about in just a moment as well as getting writing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete, delete those, deactivate them, and then we're actually gonna start moving on to settings, which you see right here. Now that we have our web hosting set up with our free domain name, now we need to go in and make a few changes, and we need to talk about our WordPress theme. Right now, as you saw, we have a default theme. What I recommend that you do is go and spend some money, spend a few dollars to get a premium WordPress theme. Now, the importance of a WordPress theme is it's actually gonna change the way your website looks and feels. For example, if we go back to our website here, this is a WordPress theme. You can There are tons of themes out there and you can actually change how your website looks and feels. You can use a website like ThemeForest. If we go here, it's uh, themeforest.net and you can find different uh, WordPress themes that are actually going to be uh, more aligned with your niche and your aesthetic. For example, if we just type in beauty, you're gonna see there are tons of beauty-based WordPress themes. I recommend that you buy one of these and the process is really easy. You're going to simply find one that you like, you're going to add it to your cart, you're going to buy it, you're going to download a zip drive to your computer. When you download that zip drive to your computer, you are going to open that zip drive, and then within that zip drive is going to be a zip, second zip 
folder. And you're going to simply drag and drop that folder over to your WordPress website. So let me show you what that looks like. We're gonna go back over to my WordPress website. Your website probably looks something like this. You're gonna go down to appearance. You're gonna click on themes. When you click on themes, you're gonna click on add new. When you click on add new, you're gonna click on upload theme. And then this is where you're gonna drag and drop it. Or you can click this button here and upload your new theme. Click activate and you're gonna have that brand new theme that you just purchased over here. So now that you have the theme installed, you do need to make one other change. This is very important in order to find success. You're gonna come down to settings. You're gonna click on general. And when you click on general, we're gonna change the site title. So we're gonna change it to something like um, the number one makeup site in the world or, or your favorite makeup.com. And then under the tagline, it's gonna say like the only place to learn the latest makeup tips and tricks. And then you're going to come down here, change the time zone to whatever your time zone is, and then click save all the way down here at the bottom. After that, we're gonna click on writing. Writing is gonna be fine, but we are gonna click on reading and we need to make it a very important change. Under reading, we're gonna click on your latest post, make sure that's highlighted or the radio button is active. And then also make sure down here is unchecked. Where it says search engine visibility, you wanna make sure that search engines can pick up your website. If they can't, you're gonna run into a world of problems. If Google can't pick you up automatically, People aren't gonna be able to visit your site, you're not gonna make any money, and you're gonna be frustrated. So make sure you leave this unchecked, click save. The final thing we wanna do is go down to permalinks. Now, when it comes to permalinks, right now yours is set to plain. You wanna change this to post name. The reason being is people are going to be searching different topics. For example, people are gonna be searching Cardi B No Makeup. And when we create content, our title is gonna be Cardi B No Makeup, and we want that to show up in our post name as well. If we look over here and we click on, let's see if we can find a blog post. We're just gonna click back. Okay, so um, if we look at this, their post, their blog post is called How to Apply Makeup. Now when you search, if I type in how to apply makeup, when you search how to apply makeup, their post comes up at the top simply because it is search engine optimized. If we go back over here, you are going to do the same thing. And to do that, you need to make sure that the post name is set for your permalink settings and then click on save. Once you do that, you are going to start writing blog posts. And to write blog posts, make sure it's a post and not a page. And to do that, you're simply gonna click on add new and you are going to title your title based on the keywords that you find. For example, ours is gonna be Cardi B no makeup. I'm gonna copy this like that and I'm going to paste it right into our new blog post. So make sure that these are capitalized Cardi B, I think the B is capitalized, no makeup, and we go from there. So a couple questions that always pop up when it comes to writing. First, people wanna know how to get started writing. And the way I like to do it is I like to use a little 10 minute brainstorming session where I do who, what, when, where, why, how. And basically what I do with that is I'll write down, and I'll just write down on a piece of paper, on a Google Doc, who, what, when, where, why, and how. And I will try and ask questions based on the, the keyword. So who is Cardi B? What are the people asking about or what does this mean? Cardi B, no makeup. When did this start? Where can I find more information? Things like that, because it's gonna help you write your blog post much faster. Just take about 10 minutes and answer these questions as much as possible. You can then use the questions that you found or the who, what, when, where, why, how process, you can use those as headings to your blog. Now you wanna make sure that you have a lot of H2s and some irregular text so that you can get discovered in a variety of ways. For example, if we go back over to our example here and the even though it's how to apply makeup, it's potential, it's very potential that this website could also rank for start with moisturizer or apply primer. These are H2s and this is regular paragraph text. You wanna make sure that you have a combination of both. So if we go back over here, you can see you're simply going to write blog posts and then you're going to click publish. And then once you click publish, your website will be live, your web page will be live. And then now oh, let's go back over here. We have started writing. The next step, if we jump back over here, is how to make money. Now there are a number of ways that you can actually make money with your website. If we go back over to our page here, um, some websites will actually have ads placed right in their website and they make money that way. They make money when people click on the ads or when people actually watch them for a long enough time. And you can actually start off with Google AdSense. So if we go to Google AdSense, 
you can start here. This is an ad company that's ran by Google. Now, when you start with Google AdSense, you are going to make very little money. I recommend that if you're looking for ways to make money, you can place these on automatically, but you're going to get paid pennies on the dollar. Eventually, once your blog starts to get a little bit of traffic, 1,000 visitors, 5,000 visitors, 10,000 visitors, you can actually apply to different ad networks like media.net. Um, you can apply to Ezoic. You can apply to AdThrive. There's a lot of them out there, but you need to have a certain amount of traffic before you can even apply. Don't worry. There are other ways that you can make money with your blog. You can also become an affiliate for other products. Now, affiliate simply means that you're recommending or selling other people's products and services. For example, if we go here, we type in beauty affiliate programs, hit enter, you're going to see that this website has put together a collection of over 90 affiliate programs that you could apply for. You apply for these, they approve you, you can put links to different products right on your website. People click on these links by the product and you make money. You can also sell physical products, digital, digital products. You can sell tutorials. You can sell all sorts of stuff. Make sure that whatever you're selling or promoting is congruent or in line with your content. For example, if I was running this website, I would sell obviously stuff regarding makeup. I wouldn't sell basket weaving because these people aren't interested in basket weaving. They're interested in makeup. So if we go back over here, just to clean this up, you want to make sure you are sharing your content on social media. Now, the reason being is it takes Google and Bing and Yahoo a little bit of time to pick up your website and start ranking it in different rankings to help boost it, to help speed that up. You want to try and get this out to people either on different subreddits, Facebook groups. You can even start your own Facebook group and, and, and post the, your links there, uh, but get it out to people that might be interested in your niche. Also know that your friends and family probably won't be too interested in your blog, but that's okay. Just continue to post it on social media. You will eventually start building an audience and getting traffic. Um, next, I think you should just write as much as possible. In my opinion, you should write at least 50 blog posts before you make a decision one way or another on the success or failure of your website. And you should either write every day or write every other day for your blog. Now, the final step, again, is to click the first link in the description to go ahead and get started with your WordPress website today. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell. This video or any other video on this channel helps you out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.